Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of Making Yourself a Fruit Ninja Game. If you haven't seen part 1 already, I highly recommend you do, and there is a link in the description below. But let's just get into the video right now. So last time we left off, we left off with a script that let our uh, fruit go up and down, and we can see that it's only bananas right now. Okay, there it changed to an apple. Well, we got another banana. But now we actually want it to shift across our screen. So to do that, we just want to go to motion and we want to change our X by three in each one of these. So if it changes X by three there, we can see that it very, very slightly moves to the right. But when it comes back down, we also want it to move to the right. So let's just go here and change X by three once again. So when I click the green flag, we can see that it goes up and then it falls down and it goes up and falls down. So, but now that we've gotten our script that makes our character go up and down and to the side, what we want to do is make it so we can actually slice our fruit. To do that, we are going to need to go to a My Block section. We want to go to Make a Block, and we want to call this Touching. Question mark, and run without screen refresh. Now we got this block here that says Define this block that we made. So to define it, what we want to do is touching our mouse, we want our costume number to change depending on what fruit it is. Since if it's an apple, we want it to go to the apple slicing uh, costume. But if it's a banana, we want it to go to the banana slicing and not the orange slicing or the apple slicing. To do this, we want to go to if, if touching our mouse pointer which is basically our knife that slices our fruit. If touching mouse pointer, and it want, we want it to sense what costume it is. So if it's costume one, which is apple, we want it to go to costume four, which is the sliced apple. Same with orange, orange is costume three, and we want it to go to costume six if it's costume three. So if touching mouse pointer then, we want it to sense what, uh, what, costume our clone is at. So if our costume number, let's just get an equal sign, and then let's go to looks and drag in the costume number. If costume number is one, so it senses if our costume number is the apple, then we want to switch costume to the sliced apple. So we want to switch costume to apples two, which is, if we check here, that is our sliced apple character. So if touching our mouse pointer we want and our costume number is one, we want to switch our costume to costume uh, four. Let's just duplicate this three times and I just drag them all under each other but still inside the if touching mouse pointer uh, statement. We just want to change this to if costume number is two and if costume number is three. If costume number is two, we want it to change to bananas. And if it's costume number three, we want to change it to orange. So now that we've defined our touching block, we can just go to our My Block section and just drag in the block that we made in each of these repeat, uh, repeat, uh, repeat uh, statements. <laughs> that took me a while to get it out. So we can see that if I actually hover over it, we can see that it changes its costume to be sliced. There we go. Oh, and I slice that one. Boom. So it picks a random costume and we are able to slice it. Now what we want to do is make it just delete. We want to delete this clone once it's done with this code. But we want to make it so that if we don't actually slice one of these fruits and we miss it, then we want it to appear to the you died backdrop, you failed backdrop that we made earlier. Now to do this, all we have to do is insert a code at the very bottom. We want to drag in an if then statement. If our costume number, let's just uh, go to operators equals one, and let's go to looks. If our costume number is one, which is basically one, two, or three is basically our unsliced fruit. So if our costume number is one, this basically says that, oh, we did not actually slice the apple. So 
if costume number is one, then we want it to make a fail. Uh, we want it to broadcast a message which will change this to you failed. So then we want to go to events and we want to broadcast message one. Now just duplicate this three times. Let me just scroll down quickly. Now if our costume number is two or three. So it's going to say, oh, if we did not slice the apple or we did not slice the banana or we did not slice the orange, then we want to broadcast message one. And then at the bottom, we just want to drag delete this clone at the end. So we want it everything to disappear when it's message one. We just want to, when I receive message one, we want to go down and stop all, which basically just stops all this code that we created. So when I receive message one, we want everything to stop. And let's just go to backdrops when green flag clicked. We can see that it switches our backdrop to the Fruit Ninja backdrop. But when we receive message one, let's go to looks, and we want to switch our backdrop to backdrop one, which is the you died, your you failed statement. Let me just go back into our fruit section and hide variable fruit velocity. So let's say when I click the green flag, we can see that I did not slice it. And then it showed the you failed screen. Now I'm just going to go to the backdrops quickly, go to the Fruit Ninja area. I'm going to make some red text. I'm just going to call this, I'm just going to type fruit ninja. And I'm just going to change the font to maybe marker, make it a little bit bigger. There we go, just drag it up there. I'm going to make it just a bit darker. OK, so now we can see fruit ninja. Oh, I sliced it, so I'm fine. Slice that one. But let's say I didn't slice the orange. And we can see that it shows you failed. So. This is our very simple but working Ninja Fruit Ninja game. And if you enjoyed it or learned something new, or if you really liked your program, then I'd highly recommend subscribing and liking as it really does help me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.